steak tartare is a meat dish made from finely chopped or ground raw beef. The key to a successful steak tartare is to use fresh beef that you will hand chop or ground at the last minute before serving. The proper way to serve it is to bring the meat and the seasoning on the top to the table. The guests will then mix everything together. Nowadays, most restaurants serve it already mixed. If you don't have a meat grinder, which is always nice to have, you can use a very sharp knife and simply chop, chop and chop until very fine. The texture will be superior, but please do not dare to use a food processor on this dish. You will completely destroy it. To make a steak tartare, you will need raw beef, chopped parsley, eggs, chopped onions, chopped gherkins, chopped capers, sandwich bread, seasoning, pepper, salt, olive oil, Dijon mustard, Tabasco, Worcestershire sauce, also known as Lee Perrin's sauce, and ketchup. First of all, grind the meat or chop it with a sharp blade. I have a grinder, so I'm going to use it. Today I'm using the tail of a beef tenderloin, but you may use stop sirloin or sirloin or ram steak. What you want is to have a very lean meat. So grind the meat. There are two ways to serve steak tartare. The first one is to present the meat with the ingredients around and each guest will season his own steak tartare. Or the other way is to season in advance and mix everything together and serve the tartare ready to eat. So let's start the first way. Shape the meat into a bowl and serve it on a cold plate. I'm going to leave the meat in the fridge for the next one. Then place a, make a hollow in the center. Add about a tablespoon of garnish around of parsley. About a tablespoon of chopped onions. You can replace the chopped onions with shallots then the gherkins, a good tablespoon, add the capers, so same amount, about a tablespoon, there we go. Then prepare the egg, so break the egg and pass the yolk from one shell to the other, then place the yolk in the hollow of the meat, so this is how you will serve the steak tartare. You will bring the sauces, so the salt, the pepper, the Dijon mustard, the Tabasco, the English sauce, the olive oil and the ketchup at the table and the person will season his own steak. Now let me show you how to prepare the steak tartare. Let's prepare our second tartare now. Break the egg. Separate the yolk from the white. Place the yolk in a bowl. Then add the Dijon mustard. So I'm doing half of the recipe. So about half tablespoon. About a teaspoon of ketchup. the English sauce, a little bit of Tabasco, so a drop, the olive oil, and the seasoning, so salt, 
and freshly ground paper cone. Mix well. Then add about half tablespoon of gherkins. Same thing for the onion and the parsley and the capers. Mix well. Those ingredients will bring a kick to the steak tartare. Then add the meat. And mix well. Taste. Mm. Very good. I won't put any more seasoning. It's great as it is. There is no dominant flavor. Beautiful. It's well seasoned. Let's plate it on a cold plate. Then serve the tartare in a ring, just to mold it or shape it. Press down. I love steak tartare. So then make it nice. Remove the ring slowly, great. And serve it with french fries. So let's put a few. Serve the steak tartare with some pointed toast. So I'm just removing the crust and we are going to cut it in half or in quarters, it's up to you. and a little bit of fresh mayonnaise or ketchup for the french fries. Serve your steak tartare immediately. If you are going to make steak tartare, it must be done à la minute, meaning it must be done and consumed immediately after that. It cannot be made in advance. Enjoy your steak tartare. Bon appétit